So let's see. So again, if I take a look and it's using the same light source of this object, I'm just going to set this up. This is just the vertical uh, line. And again, you have the photo reference that you can take a look at if it helps. And here's this particular box. Now it's the length and the width are a little bit different. So you can see this is parallel to this one. Again, this is approximately 120 degrees three times around, or 30 degrees for this particular part. So this is giving you that, that section. So three sets of three parallel lines to help you get started. Okay, And that'll get you uh, kind of along that line there. So again, you can estimate this as being about half the distance. And I'm just lightly sketching this out before I use the ruler. You can use the ruler section for it. So that's the front part of it. The left-hand side is going to go back and create almost the same shape as the first one. And you don't know where these are. You're kind of extending them until you find these points here, which builds that section up. So you can kind of see this part taken um, uh, if this helps you with a little bit of uh, removal of this, just to visualize that, that's the inside. The only difference is now down below you have a little piece that's cut out. And again, you're trying to find out where that's at. This little window of opportunity here. Building that shape up like that. Okay. So once you have that, again, the light source coming from the top. This top view is going to be the light side, the front is going to be the secondary value and the heavier side is going to be on this right. So what you're trying to do is to build this up and if I start with that line I'm going to lose the line as I start to shade this down and this is just like a gradient going from dark to light. So let's see if you can't place that in there. So that gives me at least one side. The part that is a little bit lighter I'm going to a still blend that in and that's going dark to light for that panel. Same on this front view. And this top one is going to be the lightest so I'm just going to go from the edge and just let it go lightly so I can lose that line. This back corner just kind of blend it off from here. Darkest value is going to be the one that's underneath this. So for most purposes, as a beginning, I have all three of those panels sketched out. And then it's just a matter of trying to get in there with the heavier line application to really give it some, some thickness to it. So again, I can take a ruler or not, just kind of going along with that straight edge, pushing down, trying to get a little bit more contrast and building that value up. And if it goes over the edge, that's fine. You can always erase it. I was just trying to get you to see the overall contrast. So you started off with the line, created the shape. Now you're doing the value. Not really using color, but just texture to it. So you can kind of see the paper has a little tooth to it that I can blend off of this. So again, it's your rendering skill and your shading trying to build that up. Again, you can use the straight edge to help you butt up against some of the lines, put the line in there, and blend that in there to it. Again, you're trying to lose that line when you shade this in there, dark to light.
So even though this is light, still trying to fade it just like a quarter tone up at the top here. Finding these edges. And again, with the straight edge, you can draw it. Kind of blend it in. Make it large enough you can see it on your screen, kind of related to it. Make it up to this corner, that's what's going to be sharp. And then as you look at a cast shadow again, following the same angle as this one, trying to set up a line and you can see this as it comes down this is going to be the wall to here this one's coming to here so these are all parallel this one coming here but this is going to have the part you can't see this hidden section it's going to stick out a little bit and this is going to be the point so you can kind of build up the shadow and then this part that has the cut through it's going to be shaded from the top of this part and again the shadow is going to go from dark to light find those edges and this is where the reflected light will really Help your drawing there. Let's see how you do. So the cast shadow kind of gets sharp right where it touches the surface and softens up as it goes away, blurs off in the distance. And here it shows a little reflection. Okay, and then again you can take your needed eraser. Just kind of clean up that edge. And you can also use the uh, try the pink pearl one. And this will give you a edge along here to help emphasize the highlight. 